you love me, please don't judge me Got my hands tied, the power's above me Don't shoot the messenger, I'm just a puppet here If you wanna place blame, then look to the puppeteer Family, fortune, envy, jealousy, privilege Passed on, legacy, secret, sabotage, borderline How's it going everybody? It's C Rad TV back here with another video. So of course it's time to continue on the what if NASCAR had the F1 points format series. So the last time in the series we took a look at the ARCA series in the 1990s and weren't a couple things would have changed under the F1 points format. And we would have had a number of championships seasons where the champion would have just ran away with it. And in this part, we're going to continue taking a look at the ARCA series by taking a look at the ARCA series in the 2000s, a.k.a. the turn of the millennium. And Frank Kimmel haters, prepare yourselves. As embrace yourselves too, because for this part, we're going to take a look at the ARCA series in the 2000s, see what would have changed and what would have stayed the same if they used the F1 points format. So yeah, before we jump into this, make sure you also check out the official NASCAR with F1 Points Twitter and Instagram pages for exclusive NASCAR with F1 Points content. Of course, I always post content there every day, so if you want to check that out, go for it. But yeah, anyway, of course, um, now continuing on, on the screen are the two points formats we're going to use since the format changed in 03 and got a little bit of an overhaul. And I've gone over the formats many times throughout the series, so yeah. And before we continue on, let me once again stress out that this is just a hypothetical scenario. I know everyone would have raised differently had they used the F1 points format. This is just for fun. So now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's jump right into this. So the 2000 season, it was mainly a two-man battle for the championship between Frank Kimmel and Tim Steele. Those two were the class of the field all year in terms of speed and consistency. In the end, though, Tim Steele would fail to be consistent in key moments of the season when it mattered the most. Frank Kimmel would take full advantage of him with pull away late in the season. And Frank Kimmel would lock up his second ARCA championship with a race to go in the season, locking up the title at Talladega of all places. So Frank Kimmel would still win the championship in 2000. Enjoy this close championship battle because this is the closest the championship would get for a, for a few years. So the 2001 season, it would be all about Frank Kimmel. Frank was just a class of the field all season in terms of speed and consistency. Like, nobody was on Frank Kimmel's level. And Frank Kimmel would easily go back-to-back -back in 2001 in the ARCA series and would win his third ARCA championship and his second consecutive ARCA championship in 2001. Get used to this kind of Frank domination in this part, folks. For the 2002 season, it was exactly the same as 2001, but a little closer. But still, it's wash, rinse, repeat. Frank Kimmel easily cruises to his third consecutive ARCA championship and his fourth ARCA title total in 2002. For the 2003 season, it's lather, rinse, repeat. Frank Kimmel easily cruises to his fourth arc consecutive ARCA championship and his fifth ARCA title total. For the 2004 season, are there any Frank Kimmel haters even left at this point? Maybe I'll find him in some underground bunker down, down below while Frank Kimmel easily cruises to his fifth consecutive ARCA championship and his sixth ARCA title total. So for the 2005 season, I looked underground for any Frank Kimmel haters and I found nothing there. 
Also, meanwhile, while this is all happening, Frank Kimmel easily cruises to his sixth consecutive ARCA championship in 2005 and his seventh ARCA title total. Here's the good news. The championship is a lock. It's the closest time. This is the closest championship we had since 2000. So maybe there's hope that Frank Camel's championship streak ends soon. For the 2006 season, what we thought in 2005 about Kimmel's domination starting to fade, it would not be that case, as Kimmel would once again dominate the season again. And Frank Kimmel would win his seventh consecutive ARCA championship in 2006 under this format, and his eighth ARCA title total. So for the 2007 season, we will have a two-man battle for the championship between Frank Kimmel and Michael McDowell. Those two were the class of the field all season in terms of speed and consistency. In fact, McDowell even brought the fight to Frank Kimmel. So the first time since the turn of the millennium, Frank Kimmel was human and he actually looked beatable. And it was a very close championship between the two that in the end, the title fight would go all the way down to the season finale at Toledo. With Michael McDowell entering with a three-point lead over Frank Kimmel. So Frank Kimmel would need to finish a couple spots ahead of McDowell to win his eighth consecutive title and his ninth champ ARCA title. For McDowell to end the streak, he just thought he just needed to finish ahead of Frank Kimmel and stay close or stay close to him to win the title. In the season finale, both drivers ran out front as both want the title badly. In the end, though, Frank Kimmel, he would end up finishing fifth. But Michael McDowell would do everything he would need to, and he would win the season finale at Toledo. And that win would be more enough for Michael McDowell to win the 2007 ARCA Championship by 9 points over Frank Kimmel. So Michael McDowell would be the 9th 2007 ARCA Champion, and McDowell would end Frank Kimmel's championship streak at 7 consecutive titles. So under this format, Frank Kimmel's streak would be seven straight titles instead of eight. So yeah, for anyone complaining about Ty Gibbs 2021 ARCA season, just remember, Frank Kimmel exists. In fact, I don't want to hear another person complain about Ty Gibbs season with, when y'all didn't say shit about Frank Kimmel's eight straight titles. In fact, if I hear one more person complain about Ty Gibbs domination, I will reach across the screen and slap you. And I'm not kidding, I will. But yeah, anyway, Michael McDowell would win the 2007 ARCA Championship under this format. So the 2008 season, it would be all about Justin Allgaier. Justin was the class of the field all season in terms of speed and consistency. Like, nobody was on Allgaier's level in 2008. And Justin Allgaier would easily cruise to the 2008 ARCA Championship. So for the 2009 season, it was a two-man battle for the championship between Justin Lofton and Parker Kligerman. Those two were the class of the field all year in terms of speed and consistency. Very close championship between the two that in the end, the title fight would go all the way down to the season finale at Rockingham with Justin Lofton entering with a four-point lead over Parker Kligerman. So Parker Kligerman needed to finish well and needed Lofton to finish a few spots back to have a close shot at the championship. Lofton just needed to stay close to Kligerman to win the title as long as Kligerman didn't win the race, that is. In the season finale at Rockingham, both Lofton and Kligerman ran up front for majority of the race as they were cars to beat all race. In the end, though, Justin Lofton would end up finishing in third, while Parker Kligerman would go on to win the race. And in the end, with that win in Lofton's third, it meant that the championship would end in a tie. In the end, the tiebreaker would be most wins, and which just and which Parker Kligerman had nine wins to Justin Lofton's six wins. 
So Parker Quiggerman would win the 2009 ARCA Championship under this format in a tiebreaker. So Parker Quiggerman would be the 2009 ARCA Champion. So yeah, anyway, that's going to wrap it up here for this part of the What If series. So yeah, a couple things would have changed in the 2000s in ARCA under the F1 points format. The one thing that definitely would stay the same is Frank Kimmel easily bitch slapping the living shit out of the field in the 2000s in ARCA. Like, in terms of championship battles, we had two title battles go down to the season finale, those being 2007 and 2009. And ironically enough, those two years are the only two title changes we would have under the F1 points format. Pretty ironic that the two title changes come in the two years that the championship would have came down to the season finale in ARCA. What a coincidence. Damn. And also under the F1 points format, Frank Kimmel would only win seven consecutive titles instead of eight in real life. So yeah, and Michael McDowell would have been the one to end the streak instead of Justin Allgaier. But yeah, anyway, that's going to wrap it up here for this part. So yeah. And I, and I don't want to hear anyone complain about Ty Gibbs' 2021 ARCA season ever again when Frank Kimmel fucking exists. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this part. So the next time in this What If series, we're going to wrap up the ARCA side of What If series by taking a look at the ARCA series in the 2010s to see what would have changed and what would have stayed the same under the F1 points format. But yeah, anyway, and that part comes out depending on how fast I make it and do all my research and that, all that. But yeah, anyway, that's all I got to say. Hope everyone's a great day, and I'll see you on whatever I make next. Peace.